Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Live and Shift Depth. So today we're going to talk about Postgres join strategies. This basically means that when you join the tables in the query, what these internal algorithms in Postgres that happen to process that query and return results back to the user. So today we're going to look at three different joins algorithms that used by Postgres. They are hash join, nested loop joy and merge joy so the query we're going to work with today is really simple this basically select the id name and salary amount from employees and salaries table so these two table are joined together based on the employee id okay let's look at the nested loop joy so here i have two tables employees and salary table that um, mentioned in the query so I got these table pre-populated with data. So how the nested loop join work? So basically, this loop join work as the name suggests. It used double for loop. Let's look at how these double loops work. So I got a cursor on the top row of the employees table, same as the salary table. So the first iteration is gonna look at the first record in employees table and compare with all the records in the salaries table so basically first it's going to check the first row employees table with the first row salary table if the, and this is a match because the id in the employees table is the same with employees id column in the salary table so this is a match it's going to return the result that that is match then it compare the first row employees table to the second row salary table this is not a match because one is not equal to six and it's gonna compare the first row of the employees table to the third row of the salary table this is again not a match and this gonna repeat for the fourth and the fifth row in salary table when it's at the last row of salary table it's gonna move to the next row in the employees table and it's repeat the process to compare the second row employees table with the all of the rows in the salary table so again the id is not match here two is not equal to one and these are going to move to the second row in salary table and compare again third row fourth row and fifth row and so on now we are at the end of the salary table the cursor move over to the third row employees table and compare this third row to all the rows in the salary table again there's no matches so it moved down to the fourth row and compare the fourth row in employees table with all the row in salary table and here it found the match because the id4 equal to employee id4 here so it's going to return the results yeah, that's how the nested loop joy works. It's really simple. As you can tell, this is double for loop. This is basically like for all the records on employees table. Compare picture record employee table with picture record in salary table. And this is done in naive way. So if this employees table got n results, n records in salary table with m records, time complexity is bigger of m times n and this can be a little bit faster if using index uh, on the joy condition now let's look at the hash joy algorithm so the hash joy algorithm works totally different because this requires hash table to to be built and this requires extra memory so when this construct a hash table it's going to take the smaller normally take a smaller table such as the salary table here because if you take a larger table then the hash table require a lot more it's going to require more memory and that's not good sometimes Volkswagen can run out of memory um, that's why it's normally take a smaller table which is a salary table here so the way it works is it's going to go th iterate through the salary table um, and then it used the the column that in the joy condition so it, here the 
the employee ID is the column that used in the join conditions to calculate the hash key. I don't know what algorithm that is used to calculate the hash key, but basically the hash key is calculated based on the employee ID column here. So, and so let's iterate through the salary table. So first, gonna look at the um, the first row of the salary table and let's take the employee ID which is one and let's assume that it's calculate the hash key um, to be h1 the hash bucket gonna contain the record of the salary table yeah I just notate it at one I just use this uh, notation just to illust illustrate my point so one is the employee ID and 200 is the amount and this gonna go it's going to repeat for all the rows in salary table okay so I have to iterate through the salary table it built up the hash table with hash key based on employee ID and the bucket contain the records in the salary ID so here the hash table is built and completed and as you can see you have the hash key so the next thing this algorithm does is going to is going to iterate through the employees table and while interact through the employees table is just take the first row employees table for example it's gonna use the id column because this id column is used in the joy condition and it's calculate the hash key that's exactly the same algorithm that is used to calculate the hash key for the employee id for the salary table and because the value of this id is one so this input to the hash key algorithm is gonna generate h1 um, for hash key again and because h1 is already present in the hash table it's gonna return these employees first record along with the, the rec salary record in the hash table bucket at the hash key equal h1 then it's gonna move on the second row employees table and it calculate the hash key for id equal to it's gonna so the value of the hash key here is gonna be h2 then it check if the h2 is available in the hash table it's not so it's gonna move on to the third record it did the same thing it's generate hash key for id equal 3 which is h3 and h3 is not in the hash table and and for the fourth record is gonna generate hash key of h4 and that is h4 exists in hash table so it's gonna return the fourth record in the employees table along with the salary record in the in the bucket at h4 hash key in the hash table and this process gonna repeat until the sequential scan in employees in in, in, until the sequential scan on employee I, uh, employees complete so yeah this is really simple algorithm but it re requires extra memory so when the postgres does not have enough memory it's gonna decide to choose different kind of joy algorithm so the last joy algorithm i want to mention is the merge joy so the merge joy works slightly different so the easiest way to explain how it works is just look at uh, the arrow that I mark for the top rows of the two tables. So the way it works is as follow. So I got the two pointers here, each point at the top rows of the two tables. So the, the algorithm start with compare the row that have the current pointer point two of employees table with the salary record with the point to point two and they it's going to compare the id and employee id because these two columns here are used in a joy condition so this one equal one so this is a match so it's going to return the top the first record in the employees table along with the first record in salary table because the this id and employees ids are equal when this happens, it's gonna move the second to pointer in to the next row. Now to compare this 
this first row with the second row in the salary table is not a match and because this ID here is smaller than the employee ID in the second row of the salary table it's gonna move the pointer in the first table to the next row and then it compare this second row in the employees table with the second row in salary table is not a match and also the id here two is less than six and so it moved the pointer down to the next row and again it compare the third row in employees table with the second row in salary table is not a match and this three is smaller than six so it's going to move down to four again it compare and again it's not a match and four is less than six so is moved down Again, let's compare this row with the second row in salary table. Again, it's not a match. And 5 is less than 6. Let's move down to the next row. And here is a match. Because the ID in employee ID is equal. So it's going to return this row in employee's table. And also along with the second row in salary table. Because the ID in employee ID are equal. So it's going to move the second pointer in the second table to the next row. Again, it start comparing, and because it is not a match, and six is less than nine, so it's gonna move the arrow down to the next row. Again, it's not a match, because seven is not equal to nine, so let's move down here. And again, it's not a match, and eight is less than nine, so let's move down to the next row. So this 9 is equal, so it's going to return this row in the employees table with a third row salary table. Um, now with 9 equal 9, so it's going to move the second pointer to the next row. Again, it compare. Now, now 9 is bigger than 5, so it moved down here. And compare again, 4 is okay so this is the end operations so i hope that you guys get the algorithm i actually have the pseudocode in my blog post on medium have a read but as you can see this is how merge joy works and again i hope this video is useful for you guys this is advanced concepts in postgres and if you like the video give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Cheers guys.